tips on using home hair color. Typically, home hair color disasters occur because the person dyeing their hair does not understand the hair coloring process. Knowing what type of hair color to use, whether permanent, single process, or semi-permanent, is vital to the results. Also, learning what to do while dyeing your hair and the proper aftercare are important parts of the at-home hair coloring process, too. Before dyeing your hair, parting the hair into thin portions will make using hair color easier. Use hair clips to hold the hair back. Ensure that the hair dye is applied to every part of your hair. To avoid getting dye on your forehead, face, and neck, apply a layer of Vaseline around your hairline and neckline. For especially thick hair, it might be best to have a friend apply the color. Conditioning your hair a few days before the hair color application will prevent your hair from drying out and also allow it to absorb as much color as possible. Lastly, a light mist on the end of your hair will make it easier to apply the color evenly. While dyeing your hair. For those applying hair color for the first time, wear an old t-shirt. If you have especially long hair, it's best to apply the dye to sections of your hair and rinse it out as time has expired. It's important to follow the timing instructions. If you're using hair dye and activator from a beauty supply store, consult a hair coloring professional to find out how long to allow the dye to process. After drying your hair, it's important not to wash newly dyed hair for three days. This allows your hair to seal in the color. When you do wash your hair, use a cooler temperature as hot water allows the hair cuticles to open and color can be lost. Many boxed hair colors provide a conditioner to use for a few applications after dyeing the hair. This provides ingredients that help lock in the color and keep dyed hair looking healthier.